Thanks for inviting me to Highbury. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful school. What's your role with the uh, garden school? I work throughout the school with different classes and each class, regardless of their physical ability or their age, gets to access the outdoors in some form or another. What's the impact been on children's wellbeing of the work that you're doing for eco schools? Sometimes the impact is hard to measure. Since I started really on the project about a year and a half ago, the children have developed so much and sometimes you forget just how much they have changed. But then you see when the children come up to you in this corridor and say, we've got garden school today, and you see that they remember certain things, you see them learning in different ways, taking charge of things like recycling, trying different foods. So it's giving the children that sort of access to maybe a form of learning they wouldn't have had before. Does the weather ever stop you from coming out gardening? No. We've got Wellingtons and we encourage children to sort of bring sensible coats, but we have, out, you know, we have outdoor equipment, there's always more we need. We have put together this backpack where schools can get it and it's got the, the outdoor gear and the wellies, the socks. What do you think about the backpack? I think the backpack looks really, really good for our children. What is happening around the school grounds? We've got growing areas and we are spreading out further and further. We've got a land outside these sort of fences here, which is about an acre and a half. And the plan is we've got volunteers at the moment. We're going to clear this land and turn it into a wildlife corridor. We're part of Lloyds Banking Group. Um, so we do a bit of garden work out here. Now also, I, this is I think the third, fourth time, Andrew, that we've been here because um, my daughter actually comes to this school as well. So it's, it's good to give back to the community and also help out and you know, see a massive improvement what we do. How are the teachers and you know the adults, the children, how involved are they in your garden school projects? Well, everybody in the schools uh, involved. Obviously it starts with Andrew, our garden school lead, and then our eco council as part of the Keeper and Tidy that we are a part of. But then from there, we have developed our own garden school curriculum. We have worked with everything that we can do outside. We are constantly trying to evolve our garden areas to make them accessible for all our students. So every member of staff is part of the team when it comes to the outside learning because we all feel so passionately about it. Every child is included. Yeah, we see. We seek to provide something for all of the different children as they love being, you know, just amongst nature, don't they, I think. And they get to experience planting things, seeing things grow, understanding where their food comes from. But for the wheelchair users as well, we've made sure that all of this area is accessible and they can get out and about and just experience the world. It's been brilliant. Thank you, Joe, and thanks for a great afternoon.